In this video, we're not gonna look at the details of how to steer those skews through powder. We're gonna work on just as important skills, but are a little bit harder to grasp. We're gonna do stuff like skiing, sort of scary lines for me without stopping, which forces me to develop both confidence and also an ability to think on my feet and remember my line. So let's hit it. We're out here in Locks today and I'm gonna to teach you four drills that's gonna help you improve and become a much better free ride skier. The first drill we're gonna work on is skiing lines without stopping. Picking a line and skiing it without stopping. This is a great drill and something you'd have to do if you'd ever do a free ride competition. Uh, you can scout the line with your eyes, take a photo of it, or even have a friend scout it for you and tell you how, what it looks like from bottom. And this can help you when you ski to think on your feet, ski. It's gonna be a little nerve wracking because ideally the line should be a little bit outside of your comfort zone, but yet safe in concern of uh, avalanche risk or cliffs or anything that could cause you serious harm. Um, and then when you ski it, you can slow down, but you can't stop. Ideally you should continue some flowy amount of speed, ski through it. And doing this sort of thing is gonna help you, A, remember your lines better, B, build some guts, or you get much braver doing this. And flow, flow is great. Just swooshing down the hill. Swooshing. I say swooshing. Swoosh, maybe it's Swedish, I'm not sure. Anyway. That's fun. So the second way of doing it, like I just did, I had Rory scout the line for me and tell me over the radio, go left of that rock, it's a somewhat narrow shoot, got a couple of rocks in it. He said enough to make me confident to do it, but also a bit nervous. Skiing into this line, I didn't really want to do it. I really quite wanted to stop to have a safe look. But what I did was I challenged myself skied in, skied a little bit faster than I was comfortable with, but slow enough that if I thought it looked just too sketchy, I could have pulled out. Whew. That drill did challenge me in all the ways this drill is good for. I think this is my favorite drill in this video, the game of add-on, or add-on. Not add-on, but add-on. And uh, what you can do here, choose more or less a line. I chose straight underneath a lift, uh, 20 meters each on the right side, 20 meters on the left side, and there's my line. And I suggest you ski it three times or any other arbitrary amount of runs. Um, you choose, really. And here's how you do it. First run, you can take it easy. More just ski down in a flowy way. You can give yourself a little bit of time to check out what it's looking like. Second one, then you add something. Add a jump, grab, spin, drop, extra turn, or remove a turn, for example, is sort of like adding something. And uh, that is really quite exciting, because now you have more confidence. You know what it looks like, and you can put in a gnarlier run. And then for the third run, do the same thing. Mix it up even further to push yourself. For example, when I did three runs today, uh, my first run felt pretty good. I was just cruising it, checking it out, making sure that I find the entrance into this little couloir thingies. And um, I enjoyed it. By the second run, I had much more confidence. Um, by the second shoot, I dropped a little bit bigger into it and I almost did a punch front flip onto pretty unpleasant snow. Made me a bit nervous, almost crashed over the windblown bullshit snow. So I was like, that was pretty far out in my comfort zone for the day and the conditions. So for the third run, I was like, all right, let's do more jumps. So I was like, 
did a little spready, checked in a little 360, all things I didn't get too afraid of. Oh, I wasn't afraid at all. Trust me. <laughs> and at the end, I wanted to do a safety grab, but I didn't quite get it because I was a bit of a chicken. I didn't have enough air time to pull off a steezy safety. Could have done an ugly one, so, so I didn't bother. So that's a game of add-on, my favorite drill. Here's the second most favorite drill in this video, and it's very simple. It's called follow the leader. It's simple. So, as it sounds, you just follow a person. This person should ideally be better skier than you, and if not better, just a different style. Maybe likes to jump more than you do, or just ski faster. It doesn't really matter. The important thing is that you get challenged, and you should follow the leader exactly. Follow that every turn, every jump, uh, drops and jumps, try to miss the bomb hole, so that's okay to go a little off their track. And this is to challenge yourself, to turn in a different way than you would usually do, or plan to run differently. And most importantly, when you do this, just have fun. It's a wicked time and one of my favorite things to do when, I, when I'm out with my friends. Just following along, sending it. So it's my turn to follow Rory now. Let's see if he skis different to me. That was one fun run. Quite exhausting though. No, that was fun. That was fun. All right, now this trail is quite exciting as well and it's gonna challenge your ski technique a bit more. So what we wanna do here is to maintain the same amount of speed down a run that you carefully chosen because of its variable conditions. That could be that the run is uh, tracked out or it has a bit of wind blow snow or moguls is also great for this because any of these conditions are really going to challenge your technique it could also just be changing in the shape of the slope that it has like rollers in it anyway when you found that slope then find a little line through it that makes out one wall of a so-called corridor and then a second one like that and then you decide it i'm only allowed to ski on this part of this sort of difficult slope and then you can choose what size of turns to go down there to maintain the speed. So for example, we could do two turns down this whole slope, or you can do like five in the same corridor, right? And that's gonna have a big impact on how fast you're going. So, so the key here is maintain the same amount of speed, and the speed should challenge you a bit. And I really like doing this. That was fun, a little bit exhausting. Thank you for watching. Oh, I almost fell over. Give it a little like and subscribe if you learned anything. I do quite a few freestyle camps for adults. Practicing your freestyle is great for your free ride skiing. But I'm thinking about in collaboration with great mountain guides and fellow instructors to start making free ride camps for adults. Would that be interesting? Leave us a little comment below or add your email in the link in the description. If you're interested in that, maybe we should do it. Anyway, see you in the next one.